Hey everybody, this is Greg Comparic of TechCrunch and we're talking to Tom Allison. He's the engineering manager on Facebook Home. So tell us a little bit about your project, what you've been working on. What's sure. your favorite part of Facebook Home? Uh, my favorite part of Facebook Home is actually being able to simply turn on the device and see the most interesting things that are going on right now. So I actually just turned on the phone here and automatically I'm seeing pictures from the event that we're having right now. Mm -hmm. So I get to actually see what's going on, what pictures my friends are posting, uh, literally all around me. So this content is very current. We're kind of pulling new content in the background when your phone's off so that when you turn it on you have a great experience. And then I can kind of like this content. I can dive in. I could comment on it if I wanted to. Um, and uh, there's just these moments that you have where you're able to turn on the screen in the morning when you wake up and just see fresh content without having to do a bunch of clicks into an app and see sure. stuff. How does it determine what to show you? So it determines what to show you based on our newsfeed ranking system. So we tie into the same technologies that we use to show you newsfeed. Uh, what we've done though is we render the stories in a different way. So this is a very photo-based experience. So we don't exactly have all of the stories yet that you see in newsfeed, but we have the most important ones. Status updates, photo updates, posts from Instagram, things like that. And over time we're going to be adding more. But the way that the ranking works is it's the same algorithms that we use to show you uh, newsfeed on the mobile or, or the web. Uh, but it's kind of biased towards things that you haven't seen before. So, for example, you might start swiping through here, and we try not to show you the same things over and over. So sometimes on newsfeed you might load it once, twice, and the stories are kind of similar. But here, you may be opening up and we want to have you have a new experience every time. So we really make sure that the content you're seeing is stuff that you may not have seen before. Mm -hmm. But then if something gets a lot of likes or a lot of comments, we'll bring it back up to the front so that's the thing that you see. So for things like for comment counts and for even the comments themselves, mm -hmm. are those updated pretty frequently? And are you, are you guys caching the comments in the background so that when you tap it, they just pop up and they're, are there? Yeah, we actually have to kind of make a trade-off between how much data we want to consume so we don't kind of overrun your data plan and overrun the battery. There's a lot of things in mobile where we can't fetch everything. But the comments, uh, we fetch them initially when we fetch the story, but you'll see if you open them, we'll refresh them uh, after you open them. So there are cases where if new comments come in, they may not be visible right away, but as soon as you open, we'll refresh and you'll have the most content. Okay. And we're working on actually making it better so that you know comment counts will be updated as soon as you see the story. Sure. So one of the things that Mark touched upon on stage was that you guys did not fork Android. Correct. Did you make any changes to the uh, just on the uh, on HTC first here? Sure. Did you make any changes to and or I'm sorry, any changes uh, to the underlying OS for things like uh, with chat heads being able to pop up above, above the app? Did that require? No, the interesting thing about chat heads is that didn't require any system integration. So you'll be able to get the chat heads functionality on any phone that you can download this okay. on. Now, for the HTC First and for uh, you know the HTC uh, for, for the Facebook Home uh, partner program, uh, there are some modifications that we have made to Android to uh, kind of expose extra features. So you can see here, uh, I can get my Gmail, uh, Google Play, other app notifications on my home screen. On phones that don't have our, inter our Android integration, you're not going to be able to see that. So okay. that's one of the differences on the HTC First and some of the other um, uh, companies that we're going to be working with that are, uh, want to be part of our partnership program. Okay. Is there anything else or is it primarily the certain it's types prim of notifications? It's primarily the certain types of notifications that you can see. Okay. Correct. So this will really give you the complete picture of everything going on on your device. Okay. What was the biggest challenge? The biggest challenge was really getting this to make sure that it could feel good, right? So because this is not a traditional app, this is something that you see every time you turn on the phone. This had to be like a really high quality uh, app that felt good. So there's no kind of explicit navigation here. It's The idea is to get out of the way of your content. So what we had to do was work with the designers to make sure everything felt good. So all of these interactions, you can see uh, these animations, this these gestures where you can fling stuff up and down. Uh, it's a very playful user interface. And in order to do that, we had to essentially rewrite some of the Android components that you would use to kind of tie into this physics model that we built underneath for these components. So these, these components are all tied together. They fade in and they fade out uh, with one another. And it, it leads to this really nice feeling when you're actually just swiping through these things. It feels very smooth and natural. Okay. And to get that right, we had to tweak these things uh, a lot. So one thing I can't figure out just watching over your shoulder here is mm -hmm. a lot of the times what people do from their home screen, especially on Android, is searching. Mm -hmm. uh, where, where's searching here? Sure. 
So on the HTC First, uh, you'll be able to access search uh, the same way you would for any other phone. There's a okay. Google search up there. And then uh, for anything else, you can go to the search app of your choice. So if you want to go into Chrome and find content there, you can. Um, so we keep search uh, very close, so you can choose whatever search provider you, you okay. normally use on your device. Oh, but the, the quickest way is probably the Google bar. Yeah, so this will be available on the HTC First phones. And on the downloads, uh, that's not going to be there. But uh, okay. over time, we're going to be introducing more search functionality and more ways to find content on Facebook, on your phone, and on the web. OK. Well, very cool. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.